Arriving outside is our first contestant of the day. Seven-year-old, Olivia. Hello. What's your name? Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Nice to meet you. You're auditioning, yeah? My name is Olivia Binfield. I'm seven years old, years old, and I'm a schoolgirl. What are you doing for us, Olivia? Um, I'm going to do a poem. Oh, brilliant. I like poetry. I did one for Mummy, and then I did one about something about, um, it was something about, I think it was about a tree or something like that. Now, do you read it out of a piece of paper or is it all in your head? All in your head? Now, you've only got a very small head. Can you fit the whole poem in your head? Yeah. Okay, I'll believe you. I would like to perform my poem in front of the Queen, and I think she might like it. What's the, uh, what's in the box then? You've got a box here, hasn't you? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Box with nothing. Yeah. Ready? Hello. Hello. What's your name, please? Olivia. How old are you, Olivia? Seven. Tell me what you're going to do for us today. A poem. A poem? Oh, wow. Can you tell me, what do you want to do when you're bigger? What? What do you want to be when you grow up? A zoologist. Oh! Okay, when you're ready then, Olivia, you start. Here she comes. You alright? You said there was nothing in that box! <laughs> Olivia! Goodness me, Olivia! It's wrapped round her head. Who is that? Lucy. <laughs> Lucy's wrapped round her head. Okay. Do you think you can do your poem now? Yeah. Great. Okay. When you're ready. Come on. Don't you have a heart? You don't want these animals to depart. Forget the X Factor and the top ten singing chart. Look at the most endangered animals and the poison dart. The Yama leopard, Siberian tiger and polar bear. They're so gorgeous, it is just not bare. If I say their letter names, will you listen more? Oh, Louis, please don't say this is a bore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you tell that, Louis Wolf. With his snitskin handbags. <laughs> Louis. <laughs> Komodo dragon, by the way, why does man have to take them all away? Man, you're such a fool. Snakes kinder life for handbags? That is just not cool. Please listen to my passion, although it may not be in fashion. I cannot sing it, you might laugh. I cannot dance, you'd say that I starved. But I am seven, and I want these animals to last. Especially with a snake on your shoulders. It's kind of rotten. Is, is, that, is that normal? Michael. Just a quick question, Olivia. Can you breathe? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Olivia, you did so well. It, it was quite a shock for all of us when you walked out <laughs> with that snake around your neck. Let's go on with it. Let's go on with it. But you delivered it absolutely perfectly. It's great that you have such a passion at such a young age. Well done, Olivia. Olivia. 
I mean, I think you're really, really brave to come out on the stage, number one, and then to come out with a snake. <laughs> a snake be strict, just call it something else. The snake's been around the neck for quite a while. You definitely got the message out there loud and clear. And to hear from a seven-year-old is something amazing. Come to see, she does have a snake around her neck. Could we get to the yeses or noes, please? Thank you. How long is it in meters? Is She's it? getting strangled oh, by a snake. On, <laughs> Make our decision okay. very soon. Does Lucy live in the zoo and she in your house? In the house. In the house? Mary, do you have any further questions? Michael! Yes! Olivia, I am saying yes. the living daylight out of all of us. I hate.